this is going to be a video review of the Kalanay USB microphone. It's a condenser microphone. You could, I guess, use it for just about anything. Uh, but we're going to test it out and see what we've got. And yet, it's like a wind shield, and I don't know what that is. And so we've got the, wow, that's a beefy microphone. And it looks like maybe a stand holder or something. So if you were like me, you probably have used one of these ridiculous cheapy things that plugs into a three and a half millimeter jack on the back and it's kind of worthless. So the reason that I bought this mic is it's USB controlled. I'm going to take it out of the package now and we'll test it out and see what it can do. I've got the mic assembled. It took me a little while to do. There are zero instructions on how to put this together. So just for people who are wondering, this obviously the base is going to screw onto the tripod. Now it's a secure tripod. The legs are very secure. We've got a core that's about standard five foot length or so. You're going to take this rod and you are going to screw it into the front cover and then you can adjust that later. You're going to take the rod, you're going to unscrew these two pieces over here, put the rod through it, tighten it down to the way you want it and once you get this position the way you want then you'll tighten the nut up. I couldn't figure out what in the world these were for and I am assuming that they are replacements for the front and back mounts. You take this cord and you put it through the rubber pieces that are over here that hold the mic in place. So I'm going to plug it in now and see what happens. I have the camera looking at the monitor using Windows 7 and let's see if anything pops up about USB, USB, okay installing device driver software check here for status we'll just give it another second and it should say that everything was installed. It really could not be easier. Um, you should be able to see the little green thing down at the bottom of the arrow. Twirling around as it looks for the software to install. It's probably a standard USB driver. Let's click on here and see what we've got going. USB composite device installed, USB mass storage installed, it's looking for the CD04, I don't know what that is, and CD04, and the JIE LI card reader one USB device, um, I'm not sure what that is, but Windows is looking for the software. You have an option on the bottom to skip obtaining driver software from Windows Update, but I think it makes sense just to wait it out. I've been waiting about two minutes for this to finish the last update. All of the updates are put in there. Originally, if you remember, it said CD04 and there were two listings, but there was only uh, one install that had to be done. So now I'm going to test out the mic and see what happens. I'm going to go into Windows and start the sound recording program. Go to your Windows Start button, Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Devices and Printers, and you can see the device is already installed CD04. To start up Sound Recorder, go to the Start button, move up to All Programs, go up to the top where it says Accessories, and look for sound recorder. Press sound recorder. I know this is supposed to be a review of the microphone but if you don't know how to set it up you're gonna go absolutely nowhere. I opened up sound recorder I had another microphone a default microphone that I showed you before that was plugged in and therefore I didn't have any of this green over here because it wasn't picking up sound. Once I plugged the USB into my PC and unplugged that other microphone make sure that you only have one mic plugged in once I did that, I started getting the green. You can see I'm not recording yet, but I am getting audio. That's the first thing you want to do. The next thing you want to do is go down into the bottom corner over here, and we are going to right-click 
not left click, we're going to right click it with the mouse, this is a PC, and we're going to go to recording devices, because the microphone is a recorder. And once we do that, we're going to get a new box that is going to come up that says sound, and you can see playback, which would be your speakers, and then you've got recording, and the CD04 is now the default microphone, and you can see that it is doing some, uh, it shows default because of the green check. And as we can see right now when I touch the mic, I just had it a minute ago, um, there it is. So I've been working on this for about 20 minutes, it should be plug and play, it did take me a while to get everything going. I had to unplug my regular microphone, then I had to unplug my webcam so that I could get this to default, and now I'm going to try to do the settings with the volume, and we'll test it out. I'm recording right now. This is one of those professional type microphones where you really need to be right on top of this thing. Uh, if you watch the professionals, they're always very close to the mic. I am about a foot away, and I'm using sound recorder. That could have a lot to do with it. It does not, it does not pick up really well a foot away. But I want you to hear what the difference is. I'm going to start moving closer. Now I'm right by the screen of the microphone, and let's see what the results are. We've got the player set up. Let's see what happens. I'm recording right now. This is one of those professional type microphones where you really need to be right on top of this thing. Uh, if you I take that back because it's sounding absolutely incredible and I was not on top of it. Let's keep going. Watch the professionals. They're always very close to the mic. I am about a foot away and I'm using sound recorder. That could have a lot to do with it. It does not, it does not pick up really well a foot away. But I want you to hear what the difference is. I'm going to start moving closer. Wow, listen to that. Listen to this. It's just the deep bass came in. Let me continue. Now I'm right by the screen of the microphone and let's see what the results are. Wow, absolutely incredible. I was not sure because it took me about 20 minutes to get everything set up and part of that is my problem. I had uh, other microphones plugged in from the webcam and my default mic. I unplugged everything. I plugged this in as the default exclusive mic. Sound recorder is not the best sound uh, thing to be testing this with and it's absolutely incredible. Listen to this again. Um, I'm recording right now. This is one of those professional type microphones where you really need to be right on top it's of It's nice screen. and clear. Uh, if you watch the professionals, they're always very close to the mic. I am about a foot away and I'm using sound recorder. That could have a lot to do with it. It does not, it does not pick up really well a foot away. But I want you to hear what the difference is. I'm going to start moving closer. Absolutely. Now I'm right by the screen of the microphone. Incredible. And let's see what the results are. Okay. I wasn't sure, I'll be 100% honest, I wasn't sure when I started setting this thing up and thinking why is this taking so long, what's going wrong, absolutely worth the time to get this thing going. The sound is incredible, it is a beautiful mic, it is a sleek looking microphone with your sound, uh, your screen over there and you don't need to use this if you don't want to, you can just remove that. Very solid stand, secure and your five foot USB. I think it's about five foot. So I am 100% very, very, very satisfied with the Kalane. I think it's Cal Kalani. Maybe it's Kalani. Kalani USB microphone, PC condenser mic. You can use it for podcast. Plug it into your PC, use it for recording. Plug it in and use it as an additional microphone when you are doing recording like I am with my video camera. So yeah, this is a very nice product, and the price is extremely reasonable. This is professional. This is not one of these cheap rinky-dinky things that I've been using forever. This is a beautiful microphone, and I highly recommend it.